have some, movie, some new movies coming out. World Class Ass Part 2, City Horrors. I love you, suck my Nice movies like that, but they've all been getting four to five star ratings. Thanks to Howard, Blowed Out Your Ass got a five star rating in AVN. Also, I came out with the very first Jasmine St. Clair. Mold. It's really cute. It feels real, though. Hi. I was very impressed by it, but they're still finishing it up. It's already been used. Ew. I'm serious. Someone used it. I, I used it. <laughs> no, used it. Yeah. She, she brought it in the other night, and I figured since I couldn't try her, I tried the <laughs> also. Jasmine St. Clair went out. She gang-banged 350 guys on film, breaking the world record. She has a very sad announcement to make. She wants to make it on our show. Well, she didn't look sad. Well, she is. Jasmine St. Clair, almost nude, <laughs> wearing like a short she, dress. She has grown, hasn't she? Did you get new breasts? No. Your breasts look bigger. Okay. It may be the dress. Hmm. She looks a little like Lou Diamond Phillips, except a girl. Lou Diamond Phillips? Yeah, a little bit. I don't think so. He's a good-looking guy. I've never thought she looked like Lou Diamond Phillips. Really? A little bit. You don't think you do? Anybody ever tell you that? I've never really seen what he looks like, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me ask you something. When a woman is in porno, every guy wants to know this. Okay. Are there, is there ever a time that you enjoy the sex on film? Gee, um, not really because it's just work. You know? Really? You don't get aroused? Sometimes I do. I mean, if the guy's really, really good looking and there's just that physical chemistry that's there, yeah. But that rarely happens because half the time when I do my scenes, I'm in such an uncomfortable position. I mean, I feel like on my shoulders. But let me ask you. Huh? I mean, those sex positions you do on film... Are uncomfortable? Very. Because I imitate all of them when I'm in <laughs> bed. You're hurting your wife now. Yeah. I put her legs up in the air oh, and I put no. her. And I think that's what girls like. You're, I mean, you're you kidding me. I can't believe these I films. mean, you get a deeper penetration sometimes. Yes. And that feels really, really good. It hits that um, special it's the spot. spot. Yeah, yeah but, the spot. So, but the positions are uncomfortable. Sometimes, yeah. Really? Uh huh. Oh, I didn't know that. Plus, most of my scenes, we never do them on a bed or, like, uh -huh. a cushioned area. It's always, like, on a floor or, like, a hard metal And girls don't like platform. that. See, I watch these pornos, and I think that's what girls <laughs> like. What do you think? Oh, God, I'm completely warped. The only time I've enjoyed... I've been trying to tell you that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the only time I've actually enjoyed doing any of my scenes was with, like, my favorite co-worker, who's, like, a new guy in the business named Earl Slade. That's the only time Earl I've... Earl Slade is now your boyfriend? Kind of, yeah. Sort of. You know, what's weird, you, know what's, you know what's weird about porno stars? What? Like, Jasmine met this guy at the shoot, right? Right. Yeah. New guy. And he's supposedly bigger than Ron Jeremy. He's very large. Oh, my. Was that uncomfortable for you? No. You can handle it? Yeah. Size doesn't matter or it does? It's how you use it. But does size matter? Uh-uh. It doesn't. But if a guy's big, it's a lot more impressive. Sometimes. It's just, like, it's... It just depends on how he uses it. Okay. Well, you probably don't even do anything with little guys because that's not good for the movie. But sometimes right. they make it up in, like, other ways. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, wait a second. You're telling me... So, okay, so listen to this. She has a sex scene with this guy. Yeah. Okay? And they decide they're going to go out with each other. Uh-huh. Is that correct? Actually, one, actually, about a month and a half later... He asked you out? Yeah. Actually, I called him for a photo shoot. I needed a guy for a photo shoot, and, um... Apparently, they didn't want to use him for whatever reason, but I still call him anyway to go have lunch. <laughs> so she calls him, they go out, and they don't have sex for after a couple of days. Well, that's they've done right. It, that's right. They've done it already on film. Yes, but that's work. But they, they, how weird is it, that? It is. It's different. It's, so it's different. You, do, you purposely did that, or you, um, because sex is not a big deal to you. Actually, it is when it's with someone special, but when it's on camera, I mean, I just do it to, um, to appease my fans and what they want in the scene and appease the director. All right, but when you went on the date, you made him wait two or three times? <laughs> is he here with you today? Huh? He's here with you today? Hey, hey, Howard, you know what's funny, out? though? What? Huh? There's still some porn star in it, because when they finally did have sex, it was in a movie theater. No. That's what you, th you just said. You had he sex said that he was joking around. Oh, it seems serious. No. Seems serious to me. No. So he's your boyfriend now? Kind of, sort of. Really? Well, you're yeah. dating. Huh? You're dating. We're dating. Oh, okay. You went out with him, and, and uh, you made him wait two or three t dates? Yeah, I actually slept naked next to him on the bed. And you did not have sex? No. Hmm. It was good. <laughs> and on the first date, did you let him kiss you? Did you, did you let him fill you up? No. No. You waited to what, the second date? Yeah. You did things in stages. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Slap it's just like a, a regular you know, girl. Howard, if it was How weird is that? a different story, it'd be we, on the first date. We'd go right into it. We'd have to. Because it'd be like work. 
No, it wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. We just go right into You're it. You're just ready for me. No ands of surprise. Actually, I brought this um, this mold that they made. Yeah, they made a mold of your private parts that people My can buy. Part, but actually, it's like a preliminary. Um, this is just a prototype. Yeah. Well, you have a big announcement to make. Yeah, I do. All right. This is the woman who gangbanged 350 <laughs> men. This is the biggest wow. gangbang ever recorded right. in porno history. Right. What is your big announcement? My big announcement, Howard, is that I've given up gangbanging. No more movies with uh, my fans. No more movies with multiple partners anymore. What happened? Robin, this is setting the porno <laughs> industry Everybody on fire. Everybody's you got a hell of a body, right, Jackie? Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh. It's a part of everything we see. Everywhere we go, it's a particular shade of yellow or a perfect fragrance. It's understated. It's tasteful. It's the way you live. It's the first network devoted to the art of doing everything with style. It will inspire you. If you want style, call 1-800-GET-STYLE. These folks are getting an actual free psychic reading, and you can, too. She told me that I was raised by my grandmother. Which way? It's true. She knew I was seeing two people, not even tell her that. She knew I'd be starting a new job this week. And it's true, you are starting a new job? Uh, Monday morning. She mentioned about a move to Europe, um, and that normally would have been outlandish, except for last week I accepted a position in Rome. So I'm moving to Europe. He said that I was moving, changing addresses, going to Tallahassee, and that's where I'm going, Tallahassee. He said Tallahassee? He said Tallahassee. You're kidding. No. He actually nailed the city that you were moving to. Nailed the city I was moving. I didn't believe it at first. I've called before and it was a bunch of sucky ones, but this is cool. It was just beautiful. She gave you so much. Now, why give up the gangbang? That's what you're known for. Right. Thing is, it was like two years ago we did that movie, mm -hmm. and I just shot a movie called The Final Gangbang, ja Planet Jasmine, The Final Gangbang, and it comes out sometime in June. How many men did you do? There were 50 guys there. Right. That's a small gangbang. That's a tiny gangbang. Yeah, right. Compared to the other one. <laughs> right. Um, and I just decided it's time... Is 50 guys easy now after you've done 350? You know what? It's got. It's probably more difficult now. It was 300, not 350. Oh, okay, 300. <laughs> yeah, get it right, Robin. Yeah. Well, you kept saying 300. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Robin, isn't it weird? She seems perfectly normal sitting here, but here's the girl gangbangs. I know. I mean, 300 when guys. I look at that film, I'm like, oh my god. It's yeah. very exhausting. I mean, now that I do just do single guy girl scenes, I mean, my performances are a lot better and a lot right. more erotic. Right. There's nothing erotic yeah, about a gangbang. Right. Bang. I see. Yeah. And I just wow. think it's time to move forward from that and go to the next level. What happened? You broke up with your manager or something? What was going oh, on with no, that? No, no, I. So you still I, with your manager? Yeah, I just work for, um, I mean, Charlie's a great guy. I love mm -hmm. him to death. Right. And, you know, I think he's a great person. And, you know, he's helped me out with my career. Not as much as you, of course. But, right. Um, and I'm still, I just take work from other companies as well. No more gangbang films. No more films with fans. Just straight porno. Yeah. Oh. Well, there it is. No Robin. girl girl scenes either. And no, no girl girl? Bill, not yet. No. Because you, you don't like know? girls? I'm not really, like, into that for some reason. Remember that time I came on here and I gave Nico that big old smoosh? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Oh, I gotta get involved in this. <laughs> mm. I mean, I don't know if I just felt kind of weird. You're really into men. Yeah. That's your thing. Yeah. Well, obviously, when you handle 300 guys, you gotta be into men. Uh, you have to be, yes. Mm. Can't do it anyway, any other way. I tell you, sometimes I watch that gangbang video, I have to put ice on my lap. Uh, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it actually hurts. Here's one of your fans. They want to uh, talk to you. Okay. Yes, Kevin, you're on the air. Yeah, Howard, yes. I just wanted to uh, let you know that this girl should start making silent movies. I mean, I watched that movie. All she did was complain through the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. This is off, someone. And these guys are supposed to be getting excited over Have this? you ever done anything like that? That was not easy. <laughs> hey, the man yeah. is saying Jasmine's an actress. And he's he an wants actress, to see. I had to sit there you and watch Rod act. Jeremy do stand up for uh, 30 minutes. Well, let me tell you something. Movie. At least you saw reality. Yeah. yeah. That's what reality. I found fascinating about it. To tell you the truth, you I. You watched her go through an ordeal. Mm -hmm. She but complained and complained and complained. It was a turn off. It's You're saying she should have. I'm glad she's not doing movies anymore. I still am doing movies. Sorry about that. Good. Well, I'll turn the sound down. <laughs> Thank oh, you yeah. very much. You're still going to watch, though. That's a good thing. Yeah. At least you're still going to watch. You'll just turn the volume down. Jesus. No, I'm going to check the labels and see if you're there, and I won't watch it. Oh, thank Ooh. you. Well, you're a yenta. Thank you're you complaining so much. yenta. You thank want, you. In other words, you, in porno, you want 
to see a woman the enjoying it. wanting it all the time. Well, you know, this is well, like watching sex, nine to five. I mean, you know, did she did she have a time clock? Did she punch in? Or, uh, you yeah, know, actually, no, she did I did. That's how I got paid. The whole movie. <laughs> I see. So he is objecting to the fact well, that... that's okay. He's entitled to his opinion. And you know what? Like I said before, there's nothing erotic about a gangbang. That's why I'm getting five-star ratings on all of my performances now. And I guarantee I you, before you leave the studio, you'll be complaining about something else. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right, You're thank you. Have a, nice day. Have a nice day, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I like people like that. They're so critical. Well, listen, he's being very yeah, honest. At he's, least, you know, he's, at least he's, he's a, he's a, he is. is expressing his feelings. This is a man who purchases porno, right, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he t says he wants less talk, more action. Well, she, you but know, you should try some of her newer films because they are very erotic. Actually, even Why, you've seen them? Well, she says she's acting more and she's really <laughs> being able to do that because she's not gangbang. You're actually listening? I'm looking at her breasts. Uh, <laughs> you want me to take this off? You want to see Oh, yeah, let me see your breasts. Okay, this is like tradition. We have to do this. Sorry, yeah, okay. please. Yeah, well, I don't know why you're I sitting there with your shirt sure. on. Yeah, let me see them. Okay. Wow, you do look I good. You're working out more, I think, or something. Look at the breasts on her. <laughs> oh, still wow, look how and look how quickly oh, she, she gets naked. Completely naked, naked just, I just mean, like that. I mean, that dress comes right off. Now, is that a bad thing, Kevin? Boy, you got somebody. Have <laughs> you maybe, work, did you maybe get any tattoo? Maybe she could she's put the ice bag in her mouth. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. She's got a real sexy <laughs> tattoo on her ass. Like yeah. <laughs> well, you got a hell of a body, right, Jackie? Very nice. Very nice. Turn to your right there and look at the real doll. <laughs> Act like that. <laughs> the chair hit her in her ass and she got goosed. <laughs> oh. oh, that's hysterical. She still has feelings. Well, you look good. Jasmine. <laughs> Great. Kevin wants to say something else to you, Jasmine. Jasmine, turn to your right. You see the real doll? Kevin, Act just like on. that. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep your mouth shut. I had a trash inspection once because I did a sex scene in the mud, but that was asking for it. Would you have worms? He nearly lost his life. My son was admitted here yesterday as a result of a drug overdose. Now in an exclusive interview. Join E for your first look at Hollywood's newest film, Coming Attractions, Saturday at 1 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Club is in full swing once again, and you don't want to miss out on all the fun and action. The Star and Garter features couch dancing for the adventurous, table dancing for excitement, couples dancing for exotic entertainment. The Star and Garter also hosts bachelor's parties, sure to never be forgotten. Bring your friends, bring your out-of-town visitors, show them the premier night spot in San Diego. Centrally located between the 805 and 40th Street, the Star and Garter Adult Entertainment Club. Sean, you're on the air. Hi. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. I was wondering, uh, being a billion-dollar industry, mm -hmm. how can I mean, how much do you actually get paid? Like twenty thousand a picture? Um, no, n I wish it was that much. Um, but what's I mean, what what's the what's well, the, the guys end don't make what's a lot of money. Girls under contract usually do. I'm under contract. And how much do you make a film? Five digits. Five thousand dollars? Is that fair to say? That's fair to say, yeah. Oh. So, so if it's a billion dollar industry like this guy's saying, it's where does all the money? Go? Where's all the money? Why, why are you not getting any money? You know, they use the film companies use it for whatever I guess for their productions, for their bills. I wish I was getting a billion dollars a year. Right. <laughs> then I'd be retired by now. Well, I mean, a billion. Hey, how about how about a hundred thousand a picture? Yeah, exactly. I wish. But I mean, seriously. Don't you think these guys make tons of money? See, but yeah. the money, um, the money for the girls actually is feature dancing, like this, like what I'm doing. This right, week you're going to go out now road. and you right. can charge more money. Right, you, I get up in the um, six, no, five-digit range. And what do you have? But a whole act? What do you do? You dance around? Yeah, dance around. I have all different acts, like a fire act, a candle wax act. A fire act? Yeah. What I do you do? You swallow fire with your privates? No, with my mouth. With your mouth? <laughs> you do? Yeah, I do. No kidding. I've done it many times before. I like. Oh, you do it nude? I do it nude or topless. Really? <laughs> oh, you know what? I got to be honest with you. I don't think I want to see a chick from swallowing fire while I'm uh, while she's seen naked. That. We have. Remember when we had that girl in the contest? I mean, I think it's great that you can do it, but like, I want to. I don't want to see a swallow. It looks like really I nice the way it's done, oh. and then I have the whole candle wax ordeal. What do you do with What's that? The candle wax. I let that ice pour it all over me. Do you like ice pour candle wax on you? 
Well, that sounds like fun. That's the, yeah. Get some candles. <laughs> get some candles. But are you sickened by that? No. You like it? Yeah. Because you don't like the guys hopping on top of you in the porno movies. No. No. <laughs> and you're honest about it. Yeah. You don't like it, but you do it because uh, it makes money. you more famous and you'll get better money on the road. Yeah, I do it because there's a fan base for me and I have to mm -hmm. appease that fan base as long as I want to keep it growing. I see. Well, it's growing right now. Howard, wouldn't you I assume wish. Howard? <laughs> yeah, but she's made a few movies and now, it, aren't, aren't you known? Wouldn't your movies make you a lot more money they now? They do. Exactly. Yeah, a lot well, of people. $5,000. What's a good contract? Like a what does that look like? What is the top salary? Who's the top money maker? I don't know. Probably. Uh, I mean, well, that's part of the problem that none of these girls talk to each other so they don't really know. See, but the yeah. girls never really tell each other That's the honest truth. Yeah. That's the sad part. Yeah. What is it? I, I was told that at one time that somebody like a Janine Lindenmuller could get around a hundred grand for a movie. I believe it. What about Jenna Jameson? I don't know. I'm friends with Jenna, actually. What we does she really get? Discussed it. We, we sure. never discussed it because when the girls get together, we just sit there and chit-chat and we never talk about business. Do you guys get it on with you? Oh, you don't get it on with girls. No, if I did, that would be Jenna, yeah. yeah she's <laughs> very attractive. She is. Yeah. Huh? Okay, with with uh, is there is there some uh, is there uh, like provisions as far as uh, what leads up to the sex do you have to wait like a week and a half so you're extra into it or like the guys like what okay you are tested there's a lot of oh, stuff yes, everyone is tested every month now we have to have a dna pcr test which right. is more that that's more definite like right. someone could could have easily been with like a prostitute like the night before what do they test you for aids for hiv antibodies and a lot of companies are going condom only right yeah which is safe and when you did the gangbang you did condoms condoms right? and tests and you're clean yeah you have no diseases whatsoever no really isn't that amazing i'm happy <laughs> how is well. that possible you never had warts Mm -mm. Genital warts? Mm -mm. Really? Unfortunately not. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> no, I haven't had anything like that. I mean, really? I had a tract infection once because I did a sex scene in the mud. Mm. You know, but that was asking for it. Would you have worms? No. Uh -oh. <laughs> no. All right, well, there you go. Drag her across the Well, carpet. I mean, uh, you know, the big news is she's retiring from gangbang. Uh. That's the big news. Well, she was one of the greats. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll still keep making movies. That's true. And there's somebody else out there. I mean, Kendra's looking to take your title. That's right. Kendra? The one who just slept with Jerry Springer? Oh, God, yeah. All She's right. going to take your title, she says. Oh, that's good. Mm. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> you know, all my, my flies at half mass. Uh. She had 36 double Bs. Really? She's just in the front. She had something hanging, so I didn't look at the front. <laughs> Let your hair down. It's always fun to wear lingerie with high heels. Release your inhibitions. If I feel confident in myself, it'll show to the world. And step into the steamy world of lingerie. People like to show their lingerie. From the erotic allure of Fredericks of Hollywood. Sexy always sells. To the uplifting support of a famous bra. Viva la wonder bra. He takes an hour-long peek at intimate apparel. I love underwear, and I love lingerie. Lingerie on E! This Sunday at 7, only on E! The soul of a serial killer, trapped in the body of a doll, has come back to take a bride and unleash his evil spirit. It's showtime! Now... Barbie, eat your heart out. These two people... Nobody is gonna believe us! You got that right. ...are the only ones... Drive, go! ...who can stop him. Now it's payback time. Bride of Chucky. Hey, beautiful. Bizarre starts Friday. In your seatbelt, this music's gonna rock you. Come on, crank it up for this new 33 song collection of hard rock and hits. Three great rock groups in one awesome collection. Crank It Up is not sold in stores, so order now. Call this toll-free number now for Crank It Up. Two cassettes, 1998. Two CDs, 2698. Have your credit card ready and call now. If I said you could get your hair back free, get up to 65% off major hotels. Plus How did your boyfriend get into porno? A lot of guys out there want to get into it. Hey, uh, bring him in here. Let me meet your boyfriend anyway. You want to meet him? Yeah, why not? 
Why, why, why don't you want me to meet him? All right. Why? Wait, why are you making faces? Meet him? Is that a bad <laughs> no, thing? Okay. You want all the attention for yourself? No. No. It's just going to be funny the story that he tells you. That's Is he a white guy? Yeah. Is it a true story what he's going to tell me? I hope so. <laughs> Look at the size of this guy. <laughs> so that's your boyfriend. Yeah. Earl. Hey, Earl. I, so I understand you. You have a very, you're very big down there in that area. <laughs> Is that true? I'm, I'm big everywhere, Howard. How much do you get for uh, being in a porn film? Uh, I get 500 a scene. Right. So if you do two scenes, it's a thousand dollars. I'm a math major. My, my best day is I've done three scenes for 1,500 in a day. And you made love to Jasmine on film, and then when you went out on a date with her, she made you wait for sex. That's correct. <laughs> wow. How does a guy get into porn, real quick, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, most guys meet a girl and have the girl carry him into it. In my case, it was different. I got in a different way, and uh, basically. I did a movie for a director. It was a type of movie I wouldn't consider doing again. And what kind of movie? Gay movie? No, it wasn't gay. Um, it, <laughs> it was a transsexual movie. A transsexual? I was the giver to a transsexual. Really? And I didn't enjoy it, and I never... <laughs> so what do you say? You gave it to... The first experience you had in porn <laughs> was you had sex with a man... Well, but he had like a woman. He had a, he had a he had a real he had the operation. I I didn't look at the front. I just looked at the rear. Oh, oh you just had the rear. You just had the rear. Right. Wow. Okay. Oof. And, and I wore a condom. That's you did wear a condom. I did wear a condom. Uh, that could be gay. Well, yeah. that's why I didn't do it again. How does a guy get into this whole porno industry? Well, my car broke down. Yeah. Right. You tell that story. That's what I'm asking you. Okay. My car broke down. It just happened to be in Hollywood. Right, you just got out of jail. Is that true? Well, a few months before. What, 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 were, you, what were you in jail for? for? Aggravated assault. Who did I, be, I beat a guy half to death. Why'd you do that? He broke a beer bottle on my head. Well, I don't blame you for doing that. Yeah. It's legitimate. Yeah, you know, once I once I got the blood in my eyes, it's kind of like a pit bull. I right. Went off. Well, if a guy breaks a bottle, why should you have to go to jail? He he hit That's you first. Because once he was unconscious, I didn't stop beating him. I see. Oh. <laughs> All right. So how long do you have to go to jail for doing that? Well, that started uh, in 86, and when I finally got done was in 94. Wow, so you were in a long time. Well, I got out a little bit, but once I got out, I was on parole, and they kept busting me drinking and driving, and I kept going back to prison for drunk driving. Murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you had, you had a couple of years that were really messed up. Yeah, well, you know, it, it, it was a learning experience. <laughs> What'd you learn? Funny. You can't stay out of jail because you won't drink. stop drinking right. and driving. Right, so you don't, don't drink, drink at all now. I don't get in trouble. Right, yeah, you seem like a pretty straight-laced guy now. Yeah. All right, so then the first, so your, 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 your car breaks down. Were you drunk when your car broke down? No. Uh, no. no. You were, you, you, your car broke down, and you tried to, to uh, you said a lot of people were standing, were stopping because they thought you were a hooker? Well, I was, I was on the bus bench in West Hollywood yeah. wearing jeans and a white t-shirt, which I later found out is kind of like the coat of a working guy. Right. I didn't know that. Now you're a good-looking guy. People would probably... Five cars in a row kept stopping, trying to pull me over. Finally, I realized what they were doing, so I was flipping them off every time they pulled over. Right, because they kept heading on you. Yeah. Then this one guy pulls up and says, hey, would you be interested in doing a movie? Hmm. Did you know what, what he was talking he about? He told me... He told told me it was it was a transsexual movie where it looked like women. Right. I, I went to check it out. And, and like I said, I, I tried it one time. Right. One scene, and, and how much did they pay you for that? That was the first time I worked. I got $300 for one scene. Was the guy hot that you did at least? I mean, was he a good looking guy? Look like yeah, a woman, she was blonde really? and she had 36 double Ds. Really? It's just in the front she had something hanging, so I didn't look at the front. Oh, <laughs> but you were able to uh, perform and well, you did I, your thing. I, I, I get hard when the wind blows. Really? Wow. Isn't that amazing? You don't need Viagra. They had to put his picture on the bottle. Really? That's with this plastic thing that I had the other night. Uh, wow. I tried this. Yeah? How yeah, was it? It, it? it was better than her, right? Well, oh, <laughs> really? That good? No, it's nice. <laughs> actually, actually, it was not built properly because I only went about half in and I was bottoming up. Well, okay, L let's get on to something else here, though, because this is fascinating. <laughs> so you went and you did that porno, and, and then from there? from there you got into other pornos. That's correct. Word uh, got out that you were good. From, from that director, he told another director about me. That director, the, I worked with the girl. The girl told other directors. And eventually you ended up with Jasmine St. Clair. That's correct. And then you ended up going out on a date with her, and That's during correct. the date, you guys didn't have sex, even though you had sex in the movie. Well, I, you know, once you've been there and done that, it wasn't that, that big of a deal. Right. I was more interested in having dinner with her. Right. And then you waited two or three times, and then you and then you uh, consummated. That yeah, was the second, the second night she second raped date, me. Second date, yeah. Second day you did it? You. <laughs> second day you ra she raped you? Yeah. Really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's already disgusted with you. I don't think this relationship is going to last long. All right. Anyway, there it is. Jasmine St. Clair is leaving the world of gang banging. Oh. Yeah. Oh. To go on to more erotic films. It's a big announcement. And I want to thank Earl Slate for coming in here.
who certainly uh, has set the porno industry on fire. <laughs> he certainly is a firecracker. He certainly is. <laughs> and the two of you make a lovely couple. Thank you. Thanks for having us here, Tyler. Right, thank you. Did you have a good time in there, Jasmine? Yeah, I did. I always do. I find Howard very fascinating. I think he's very intelligent. I just like the fact that he tells it as it is, which is good. And you get and you like to get naked for him. Yeah, I have to. I do. I've done it all the other shows. If I don't do it one time, it makes it um just a waste then to even be on the show and not get naked. I mean, that's what makes Howard show Howard.